Oh my god, that's a big spider. Oh. Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. This video is a little bit different than normal. As you can see, I'm sitting in front of a giant box. This is something very exciting that was just sent to me in the post. So I thought I would do, in the grand tradition of YouTube, an unboxing video. What is unboxing? Well, it's taking something out of a box. This has been quite a busy week and I'm filming this now just kind of on a whim. <laughs> so, in September, I went to the Early Music Festival in Utrecht and there were all of my recorder makers. I met up with them. I brought my instruments to get fixed and to get spruced up a little bit. And I met the lovely people at Pet Sold by Kunat. Basically, my Pet Sold contrabass recorder, I have had for more than six years and I've played it a lot and it was definitely time for it to have an overhaul. Now, the Pet Soul company has been around since the 70s, but in 2012, the Kunat company kind of amalgamated the two. And since then, they've made a lot of updates to these instruments. And I was really curious about those. So I basically handed over my Contrabass F Pet Soul recorder and said, do whatever you like with it. Put all the new things on, do all of the updates, give it a complete overhaul, I want everything, and just send me the bill. <laughs> but I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see all of the new developments that are on the Pet Sold Recorders now. Yes, so let's unbox. Can you still see? I am literally just sitting on the floor. John and I have been away performing a lot of this month and our house is just pretty disgusting, so sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I see my big instrument case, but also lots of smaller things in here. This is a stand, I think. So this is one of the new Petzold stands and it comes in this really nice soft kind of cloth case and this is the stand. Uh, this has grooves on the top, this has, these have grooves on the bottom. Hey look at this! This part here is big and this part here is little and I'm going to show you why in a minute. <laughs> it really looks like Star Wars. <laughs> Okay, so that's one stand. There are some other things. Okay, this is another. Ah. All right, okay. This is another stand, but a single one. So this can hold one pet sold and the small end goes in here. I mean, that just went together super easily. And yes, there is a third one, and I know what this is going to be. It's also a single stand, but with the big end. So this is awesome. I have two single stands, and I have a double stand. Oh, John's home. Hi! Hello? Okay. Oh. We have oh, a little book. Do, do, do. I wish I spoke German. Okay, those were my stands, and now I think we are coming to oh, the instrument. I'm gonna get rid of this box. Okay, I don't know how much you can see, so I'm just gonna point the camera down a little bit. So we have my soft pet sold case here. Inside we have 
Okay, this is a little book of all of the developments of the recorders. Awesome. Oh, there's me. Let's have a look. So I have my plug and this goes into the head joint. For those of you who have no idea what this instrument is, I'm aware that this looks very weird right now, but this is the head joint of the recorder. We have a new mouthpiece in black. So that goes on here like this. I'm actually, now that you've seen this, I'm gonna sit up a bit because I'm really uncomfortable. We have the head joint with the new mouthpiece and I see already here this is where the recorder joins to the middle joint they have an extra layer of padding now with the old pet saws you put them together and because only one of the joints was padded there were always problems with air leaks but apparently this is going to solve that so I'm gonna I haven't even screwed this together yet. Normally you have to screw it together and then seal it by pushing it down. This is still unscrewed and, and it plays. Then we have the bottom. This I think is like, oh, I see the padding has also been replaced. So I'm just gonna put it all together. We have the bottom part and the top part. Okay, I know you can't see me properly, but. Okay, I have just played the instrument by putting it together, not even screwing it together or anything, and it plays just fine. This is amazing! No longer do we have to worry about air leaking between the joints. So I'm really happy with that. I also want to check something else. Just going to grab the head joint. One common complaint with Petzl recorders is that the key work is way too noisy. And I see that the new paddings for the keys, I don't know if you can see that, maybe you could see that there were new pads for the keys and let's listen. You can hear like, and it used to be like, tap, 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 tap. I'm curious because sometimes I really did like this big key sound, but maybe this will make it much nicer for playing soft music or early music. And I see something else in here. A soft bag. Ooh. This is for tuning the recorder and I see that they've replaced the padding on both sides. And if your recorder is too uh, sharp, too high, you can make it the overall instrument flatter by making it longer. And you do that by putting, I guess, this in like this and then it makes it this much longer. Again, I'm not going to screw anything shut just to see if it works. Yes! <laughs> oh, I have two of these. Uh, oh yeah, this one is a bit bigger so it makes it even flatter. That's cool, I have two tuning squares. You can't see it very well, but this is a pouch with all different little pockets in. And I have a mouthpiece. I have... Ooh cork grease. I have a stopper. This is a stopper for the end of my mouthpiece which I didn't actually bother putting together properly because I was so excited. This is a stopper and it goes on the end of the mouthpiece. Oh, ooh. So, ah yes. You unscrew this, I think, and you can make it longer. I know what this is. So I put this stick in here and screw it shut. And then I can put the end of the instrument in here. And this means I can stand up and play. I know you can't really see it very well because I'm being exceptionally bad at filming, but you can then use this stick to adjust the height of the instrument. This means that I no longer have to carry a stool with me to concerts, which is what I was doing. And now I just have an adjustable stand for the instrument. 
So you know I have this double stand, you're probably wondering why. Well, when the instrument is not on the stick, I can just place it simply in the smaller one. Yeah, but when the stick is on the bottom, obviously you can't put it in the stand anymore. That is why you can turn your instrument upside down. So you can take your instrument and put it upside down in the stand. And then you have the instrument upside down with the stick sticking in the air. everybody for watching my unboxing my pet sword video it's probably the weirdest unboxing video on YouTube are there people out there that have experiences with these new updates for the pet sword let me know your thoughts on them again these aren't all permanent and if you have ideas or suggestions things that you think work and don't work then please put them in the comments because the people at pet sword will be reading them have a nice day and see you next week